Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 1485. The Goodness of God The mercy of God, hidden in the Blessed Sacrament, the voice of the Lord who speaks to us from the throne of mercy. Come to me, all of you. Conversation of the merciful God with a sinful soul. Jesus, be not afraid of your Savior, O sinful soul. I make the first move to come to you, for I know that by yourself you are unable to lift yourself to me. Child, do not run away from your father. Be willing to talk openly with your God of mercy, who wants to speak words of pardon and lavish his graces on you. How dear your soul is to me. I have inscribed your name upon my hand. You are engraved as a deep wound in my heart. Soul. Lord, I hear your voice calling me to turn back from the path of sin, but I have neither the strength nor the courage to do so. Jesus, I am your strength. I will help you in the struggle. Soul, Lord, I recognize your holiness, and I fear you. Jesus, my child, do you fear the God of mercy? My holiness does not prevent me from being merciful. Behold, for you I have established a throne of mercy on earth, the tabernacle, and from this throne I desire to enter into your heart. I am not surrounded by a retinue of or guards. You can come to me at any moment, at any time. I want to speak to you and desire to grant you grace." Soul, Lord, I doubt that you will pardon my numerous sins. My misery fills me with fright. Jesus, my mercy is greater than your sins and those of the entire world. Who can measure the extent of my goodness? For you I descended from heaven to earth. For you I allowed myself to be nailed to the cross. For you... I let my sacred heart be pierced with a lance, thus opening wide the source of mercy for you. Come, then, with trust to draw graces from this fountain. I never reject a contrite heart. Your misery has disappeared in the depths of my mercy. Do not argue with me about your wretchedness." You will give me pleasure if you hand over to me all your troubles and griefs. I shall heap upon you the treasures of my grace. Soul, you have conquered, O Lord, my stony heart with your goodness. In trust and humility I approach the tribunal of your mercy, where you yourself absolve me by the hand of your representative. O Lord, I feel your grace and your peace flow, filling my poor soul. I feel overwhelmed by your mercy, O Lord. You forgive me, which is more than I dared to hope for or could imagine. Your goodness surpasses all my desires, and now, filled with gratitude for so many graces, I invite you to my heart. I wandered like a prodigal child gone astray, but you did not cease to be my father, Increase your mercy toward me, for you see how weak I am. Jesus, child, speak no more of your misery. It is already forgotten. Listen, my child, to what I desire to tell you. Come close to my wounds and draw from the fountain of life whatever your heart desires. Drink copiously from the fountain of life, and you will not weary on your journey. Look at the splendors of my mercy, and do not fear the enemies of your salvation. Glorify my mercy. 
Faustina here writes about how good God is to us. He waits for us, hidden in the Blessed Sacrament. He says to us, Come to me, all of you. Then there's a beautiful conversation between Jesus and a sinful soul. Jesus encourages us to not be afraid of him. He is our Savior. He wants to save us, not to condemn us. Jesus always makes the first move. He gives us his grace so that we can respond to him. Without him, we can do nothing. Jesus assures the soul of his love. He drives out all fear with his mercy and his love. He reminds the soul of all that he has done for it and all of the gifts that he wants to give. We can identify with all of the doubts and the fears of the sinful soul, but Jesus is the answer. He awaits us in the tabernacle and tells us that we can come to speak with him any time without fear. Finally, the soul is won over. It receives many graces through the sacrament of reconciliation. Jesus forgets our sins as soon as they are confessed and forgiven. He calls on us to draw our strength from the fountain of life. This is the blood and the water that flow from his heart symbolizing the sacraments, especially the Eucharist and baptism and reconciliation. This is the grace that flows to us from the sacraments. They strengthen us for our journey through life. Jesus tells us to not be afraid. We should glorify his mercy. It is our strength. We will spend eternity praising, glorifying, and thanking God for his mercy and we can begin to do so now here on earth.